Hi guys, this is Panda for TGN and I'm going to be doing a quick achievement guide for the Have Have We Met achievement. Now basically to do this achievement you just have to get the daily quest which is the Protectors of a Hydral and with this quest you will get a random spawn of four NPCs and usually they're just normal protectors, bog standard people but sometimes you do get one of the NPCs that you can find without the, throughout the world and no one knows exactly which ones you can get apart from these six which are a definite because you need them for the achievement but you could get basically anyone. I mean, I'm pretty sure you can get Thrall if you were very, very lucky, although I'm not quite sure. No one's really confirmed that. But if you want to see what other ones you can get, check out Wowhead. There are probably lots of lists over there. I've seen a few. But now we are looking for Lincoln, Chromie, Hemic Nessingway, Manorek, Net Peggle, and Tharasan. And these are a pain in the ass to find, really. You've got to get lucky, and you've got to get a lot of people who are doing the quest kind of around you at the same time, because if you don't have one in your group, then you've got to kind of fly around and hope someone else has them in theirs. Now, try and do this on your server's peak time, because that's hopefully when most of the people will be doing their dailies. So either kind of in the morning, lunchtime, or just after dinner time. That's that's my personal server's ones, because we're, we're kind of populated with a bunch of kids, it seems, and they have to kind of go to school and stuff like that. But basically this is this is pretty simple. I mean there is a macro you can spam. I'll just show you where the macro is. Here you go. And it's really simple. Just a uh, slash target everything. The macro will be in the description for you to copy and paste. And basically what you need to remember to do is once you've found someone, say, say you've just found Chromie, you want to delete her from this macro. Otherwise you will constantly be finding her and it means you won't be able to find anyone else. So technically if Chromie was standing right next to you, however Therasan was also standing next to you, you'd find Chromie first because of the way the list works. It will go to the first person in the list and then work its way down. However, if the first person on the list is there, you'll only get the first one. So you need to make sure you keep it up to date. I mean, it is kind of a pain, but it is the way it works, and it's the easiest way of finding all of the NPCs. Now, this is very simple, and it is just here, just along here, so I'm fairly close. And I think I'm actually phased on this character, so I can't actually show you, but I will be doing this on my druid. So yeah, basically you just kind of fly along there. But yeah, once you have completed the quest that's here, your NPCs don't disappear, so you can kind of stay around and find them and everything. And some people will stand there and say that I've got so-and-so, wave to it if you need it kind of thing, and they'll sit there for a few moments while people spam wave their character. So let's get on with it and see how long it takes us to find all of the NPCs. Right guys, so I've just found Lincoln, who is the first on our list, and marked him with a moon. Here he goes, just over here, fighting this guy. He's, I think he's a gnome with like green, green hair, can you see him? He's just, oh there he is, oh he's got a horse. There you go, you can see him a bit better. And that is the first one of our list, so I just waved at him. Wave! And off he goes to fight something else. So yeah, he's a cute little gnome. And now let's go and see if we can find the rest on our list. Okay, I've just found Therosan, and here he is. He is on a massive mount. Wow, you're not going to miss him at all. Okay, so we'll just wave at him. I've got the macro there to wave at him. And there he goes. He's huge, wow. Okay, and off he, off he goes. Here we have someone who isn't on our list. But there he is, he's just a little goblin, Gothrock. So it is just kind of one of those people who you will find. There will be a lot of them around, considering you only need six and there's a lot of NPCs. So if you do see them, it's pretty cool. But if you don't, then that's uh, not so bad either, because it means you can just get on with the ones that we do need to find. Okay, so I've just found Hemic Nessingway. And now we all know his quests, they're annoying and long. But here he is, fighting alongside a blood elf mage against the seething prey lord. We're not going to get to see him mounted because he's in the middle of the battle. But there he is. Now let's delete him from our macro. Make sure you are doing that. Otherwise you could miss people. So yeah, let's go see what else we can find. Okay, well I've just found Chromie and I'm just going to target her with a diamond. A pink diamond. There she is, just over here. She's a tiny goblin, flying, not goblin, sorry, <laughs> a gnome, basically the same thing I suppose, but only a different faction. And there she is doing, I believe, what a mage would do, like the arcane torrent thing. Looks like she's about to die. Oh no, I think she died. Oh, oh well, um, 
Oh, so that was Chromie. <laughs> Okay, we've just found Bud. Now he is reported to be pretty useless. He'll just stand around and won't do anything. So getting him is kind of like, I don't know, like Blizzard trolling you. It's quite bad. A lot of people have been moaning that he's not been doing anything, so they've been dying and things. But that's just on Wowhead. But there he is, standing there doing not much. Oh no, sorry, he throws like a, like a spade. He's throwing a spade. And now he's running away. <laughs> Very useful. Okay, let's see if we can find the ones we need. Okay, well here we have the leper, who is very interesting. He looks like he's wearing a gimp suit, so he's obviously going to be my favourite one. Now he does say, just kind of, he doesn't really talk, he hasn't got anything like that. But, yeah, he's pretty cool. Again, he's not one that we look kind of looking for on the list, but he is one that you can find. Oh, that's nice, he's like a bat when he is flying. That's interesting. Okay, let's go find the others. Okay, I've just found Nep Hagel, and I'm going to mark him so I can see him, because at the minute I don't have a clue. Let's give him a cross. Actually, giving him a cross in something that's surrounded by red probably wasn't the best idea. Right, let's cha change it to something I might be able to see. Give him the nipple. Where is he? Where is he? Where is he? Okay. Either I'm being exceedingly blind. Actually, hang on. If I look at my minimap, I can see him. There he is. Standing there. Just running away now. So yeah, that's Nat. And now we only need one more. So again, make sure you get rid of him in your macro now. So now we just need Macrick. Man Mankrick. Okay, let's go to see if we can find him. Okay, I've just located Mankrick for the last one we need. I will wave him and now we have the achievement. As you can see, we have all the three or six ticks. It's a fairly easy achievement. It took about 20 minutes overall, I think, to find them. You just have to fly around and spam the macro. Okay, we've now found all of them. So I, I hope the macro has been of some use to you. And it's taken not so long to do all of this. So congratulations on getting your achievement. If you like it, leave a comment and give me a thumb. If you don't like it, again, leave a comment. Tell me what you think. If there are any achievements you want me to actually look at, please tell me and I will do the best I can. And thank you for watching, and until next time.